Admirals, this week is a fun week because it is my challenge. And this week I decided that we needed to get back to the root of Shipyard Champions, which is PvP challenges. I uh, don't correct me on that, I don't actually know what the first challenge was. Anyways, the challenge is basically we design a shared ship, then we submit the ship and we cannot look at the enemy's ship and there are certain restrictions, but we do get to come over their own battle, number of ships as long as they fall within said restrictions. The restrictions are we can have a total ship tonnage of up to 100,000 tons so that could be 10 light cruisers of 10,000 tons one battleship of 100,000 tons so on and so forth up to 50 torpedo tubes not launchers in the entire fleet no picket acid generation range finders are not allowed up to 20 ships in your fleet for the sake of our computers because uh yeah it's uh dreadnoughts gets kind of insane once you get like more than 10 ships. So this is how we uh, sent all the stuff. The scoring is basically for every 10% of total ship tonnage that we sink damage. So if we do 50% structural to a 100% ton battleship, that would be five points. Or if we sink five out of 10 light cruisers, each being 10,000 points each, or 10 tons, not points, uh, that would also be five points. But we lose a point for every 10% of total ship's tonnage that we lose. And then here are what everyone will be taking on. Me, myself, will be taking on the class... Oh boy, what is this? The Classis Misenin... Oh boy. Misenis? The Fleet of Misenum by Yulari? Probably completely butchered that, but... Oh well. Butchered? Butchered? Whatever. And then, um, these are the rest. So if you want to go see, like, Lost Galaxy Gamers, uh, you would go... Uh, or if you want to see Polyworld's design, go watch Lost Galaxy Gamer. If you want to see Lost Galaxy Gamers, go watch Pentagraph. If you want to see mine, go watch Polyworld, right? Yeah, that's Polyworld. Uh, and then there's a couple Dreadnought Improvement Projects only ones. I actually will be using the Dreadnought only Improvement Project, so I don't know if it's going to go or coincide with Hilari's thing, but we will have to figure that out. So let's download his ship and get right into it. By the way, here is Yulari's thing. He has called it, well, I've already tried pronouncing that and I failed, but it is Italian at 1915, 15 kilometer range, daytime, overcast weather, five battle cruisers each, a little under 20,000 tons each. Now, the challenge was that we would only design one battleship, though uh, there's a couple of people that misunderstood the challenge, but that's okay. So, there will be just five of these battle cruisers that we will now have to take on. So here we are, I'm not allowed to look at the enemy battle cruiser until after the battle has been lost or won. Overcast, daytime, sheer design is not always, hopefully it picks it up. Now, in the rules, I don't know if anybody picked this up, but uh, the date that your ship is, is technically not the date you have to take on. So like, I could just do a 1950 battleship at uh i think it was 15 kilometers but i don't really think that's super fair and i don't know if a lot of people got that so i'm going to go and face this at 1915. now keep in mind that the restrictions do also apply for my force whatever it is i don't have to use the force that i sent to go i think take on polyworld which was a couple of heavy cruisers, but uh, I will not use those because I, I built those on vanilla and this is not vanilla. So what I'll probably do is build a battleship and then see how heavy I end up making it. So against five uh, battle cruisers, not heavy cruisers, I think the way to go is to, these are kind of sucky dreadnought hulls. I hate all of these. These all suck, what the heck? They're all absolute garbage. All right, well, I'm thinking about maybe doing like a 25,000 ton battleship. I can't quite do it with this one. Possibly a Dreadnought 4, 5. And then that way I can get four of these. I can do it, but it is really short. And I'm not a huge fan of that. So maybe we'll go down to this one, which will then keep it nice and long. This one doesn't have any more side mounts does it no i don't suppose this one does either no not really okay Twenty-five thousand. we can afford those it goes with speed of 22 knots uh we'll just have pretty much minimum range 
all the training, some nice quarters. We'll grab the whichever tower has the best aiming speed, I guess. So this tower comes close, but I think this is the best tower. As far as I can tell. Plus this tower is way heavier anyway. This will be a lot harder to fit this. This fits here. That doesn't really make sense. Doesn't look like it should fit. Doesn't look like it should fit at all. Looks like it should fit here. Then you got enough space for the gun. So I'm, I'm yeah, I'm gonna stay with this one. Let's stay with that tower. Get our tower, best aiming speed, 10, 9, 8, 6, okay. And then grab a funnel. Select that funnel right there. And we get another one right here. I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is for main guns, we have Mark 2s, 2s, and 3s. And Mark 4s, no. I'm gonna get a couple Mark 313s. Actually, I think I can get a couple of our bets going in here. A couple of, maybe not standard, medium I think is good enough. That's the turn? Yes it does. And that will let me have nine 13 inch guns. That doesn't actually fit there though. This does fit here. Which is interesting. Whatever, I guess that works. It's your turn? Yes you do. Why are you giving me an error? Clearly, clearly fit well. Okay, thank you for the no more error. So then we might have to bring those down to double barrels instead of a triple because uh, I don't know how much space I'm gonna have. And then for the side guns, I uh, will probably do, I was gonna do the first Mark IV gun I have, but I don't think I have a single Mark IV. Yeah, no, I don't. So in that case, we'll just do not 11s, 10s, I guess. Oh, I need to do side guns. Side 10s should work just fine. Not a lot of space, but more than just like that one, really. Because if I push this for this linked at all, now it's linked. Uh, let's push this forward a bit, push this forward a bit, and then we can get another set of 10s. And we're still pretty balanced. It's nice. And uh, it does, the Dreadnought Improvement Project does improve the uh, uh, forward and aft weight offset uh, quite a bit, so that's quite nice. Let's go ahead and throw on a bunch of torpedoes, because I'm sure I'm going to need them. And just a couple of casemates. Well, we are going against battlecruisers. Might not be necessary. So we might just want to look at secondary guns more so than anything. Doesn't look like there's many places to put that. That's fine. 10s and 13s should be more than enough to deal with just battle cruisers. There's nothing else that's going to be spawning. It's just battle cruisers. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much else to put anything really. I could put some twos, but yeah, it's not that much point. I don't think. Well, we'll ignore that. I might also increase speed at some point. Ox two, geared turbines, oil. Probably don't need to get any more engine efficiency. It's pretty good already. Electric shaft, I think. I don't know if I'm gonna need to dodge torpedoes, but I doubt I will, so I'm gonna go balanced. That is a lot harder to detect torpedoes because I don't get acoustics. Uh, because the Dreadnought Improvement Project actually removes acoustics. So I don't know if the other ship will actually have any acoustics or if it'll uh, bypass that and let them keep it. I'm gonna get a bit of anti torp because of it. Some better armor. A nice citadel, anti-flood, uh, reinforced bulkheads. Uh, what else are we thinking? I'm thinking increased AP, HE, uh, base fuse, cap ballistic or cap? What is what? What, what can we pen with a cap 13, a 41 inch gun? It looks like. Hold on, what's the armor quality? 130. Let's make sure we're actually on 130, which is right about here. Now we can pen. That should be more than enough, honestly. I mean, I could even do semi, potentially, and still, it still might go through Battle Cruiser. I don't know. I'll stick with Cap to that just for now. And then we'll go TNT and to powder to reduce the flash fire because I have had quite a few flash fires recently with many of my campaigns. So 
We're gonna go with the flash fire less run. All the reload, turning. 44 torpedo. Jeez. All right. What range does that give this thing? 6.7. Eh, it's not bad. If I went standard, it gives you 10. Eh, whatever. Then we'll just reduce that. Grab a radio and a coincidence. We are extremely overweight though. Big turret side armor. Side armor? 18, 18 inches is pretty extreme, I will admit. Uh, let's just do a 15, 15, and then a 12, 12. Is that better? Now it's just turrets. Okay, so we might need to go duels because it's not looking too good. We're gonna go ahead and remove these 13s and replace them with duels. And we're also going to ch shorten the citadel as much as possible. Not that short. I'm going to go ahead and throw this on, and not quite there. Does this can come back really? It does, kind of. There we go. That's about as low as I can get that, probably. We do have 300% engine efficiency, but I haven't even touched armor yet, so let's touch some armor. I think 15... 7-7 seven, seven should be fine, and then like 4... 2.5, 2.5, honestly that works just fine for me. And then like a 17. Max this out at uh let's just do like a 7. I would like a 2.5. I can't quite get it. And then I guess a 2.5. A 2 here. And there we go. And then for top armor, I think 7, 4 works just fine for me. Probably just make these 10s, honestly. And then, do we reduce the range or do we increase the range? I don't know what range we're going to be doing this from. It is overcast, so we do have to get a little closer. So maybe I'll reduce the range of the guns. Is it, are, we, are we having this stupid bug again where I have to delete all of my guns just for it to register that I'm going down in caliber? Okay, so let's check over here. 41. 40. And the 10's down to 40s as well. Go ahead and slap this right here, this here, and there. Hmm. We are a little overweight, so that's okay. We might have to reduce these tens down to duels as well, but that does just make it more accurate, so that's fine. Or delete these, go for the duels. Delete these, go for the duels. There we go. Now we are underweight. These look a little off. That's fine. Armor is pretty good, I would say. Range is obviously not as fantastic, but that's fine. Gotta close the range really quick. Get out more battle cruisers, though. Maybe instead of negative caliber, maybe we should increase the caliber. 45s. I'm gonna look over here, that's a 45, and then the 10s could stay 40s, potentially, but I should probably make them 45s if I'm being totally honest with myself. There we go. 45 and 45, now that's a 50 kilometer range with AP and 20 kilometer range with AP, okay. That's a little better. That is a bit better. Let's, we might have to get rid of torpedoes, because I'm not doing great on space now. Um, uh, 300% engine efficiency is a bit much. I did want more speed. If I reduce, like, draft, beam, that's not really working for me. So let's just ditch a funnel. That's yeah, still good engine efficiency, which means we could probably go with, like, a small funnel. Not that small of a funnel. This is 11.7, so I need... Like 24. Which one is 24? This one. 23. There we go. That's perfect. Where's the best? And one. That's probably okay. I also just do two of these. One, two. <laughs> there we go. Alright. It's a kind of cursed looking ship, but it does get the job done. I'm supposed to go 23 here. Not really. 22.5. 22.1. Not really. Just 22 then. That will have to do. 
Uh, we have the firepower. I'm just hoping that we have enough speed to deal with this. We have anti torpedo in case they want to torpedo us a bajillion times so we won't die from that. And besides that, I think we're doing pretty good. We do have a little bit of forward offset. That's fine. Just increase aft belt a little bit. Now we are perfectly balanced. A little bit more superstructure. Maybe a little bit less top armor. No, a little bit less barbettes. I'm going to try to balance this out perfectly. There we go. 16.7 Connie Tower. Perfectly balanced. 25k tons. Cost is surprisingly not actually that expensive, I don't think. And then we'll have uh, four of these. I'm going to go back. One, two, three, four. We got the five battle cruisers. Let's figure this out. Okay, here we go. All right, let's now see what I can do. I'm going to. All right, I only have main guns. Okay, they are. We spotted them. Let's pause. They have instantly open fire. They have 13 inch guns, duels, and triples. These guys have already fired. And they should be within range. I didn't look at the reload ever of this thing. 40 seconds and then 14. Okay, so those won't be in range, but they're almost in range. I do want to make sure that you join this div. It's going to be perfect. All right, we're going to have you guys all fire different targets. You are going to target this. We're going to have those the Duke of York and the Bulwark is going to target this. And then we're going to have the next one, the Prince of Wales. Target this, and finally, the audacious is going to target battle cruiser in the back. So now we're targeting four different ships, so we shouldn't have any of this shell splashing interference. Let's continue at this angle and just open fire. Any hits? Doesn't look like it. I have the speed, but we have hopefully the firepower. Our power do they have again? 13s, 13s, and a couple 4.2s. And tower damage. Are we firing at the same target again? Oh, they're coming close. Hey, you know what? If they want to come close, well, we'll... Actually, Duke of York, if you could target the one in front, that'd be great. Should be able to go broadside and deal with this because any shots on them should obliterate them because they're battle cruisers they don't have much armor i say as they destroy my main tower ow this doesn't help that we're target locking oh that's not what i meant to do i think i just uh reset all my target progress whoopsie um great i need to go reset these really quick then I think I got it all wrong too. Uh, it's not looking too good for the Duke of York and her mates. If could stop target locking, that'd be great. Okay, now we actually have a chance to hit. You guys could fire AP, please. Get a single hit, please. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and detach Duke of York, because I, I have realized I probably should detach her from the div. We're going to pull her back. You can go ahead and aggressively fire, and then the bulwark. Actually, you turn in. If you turn in, you might survive. Mm, probably not, though. Have you continually turn? We might actually be able to avoid stuff. Okay, so these guys are going 33 knots? Holy. Okay. So that ship is hopefully nearly dead. That ship is definitely nearly dead. How many ships do we have targeting that? I want you targeting this. Did I just have everybody target that? I did. Everyone's not targeting that. Okay, and then I want the bulwark targeting the ship. And then I want you. The, I, no, you target that ship. You target that ship. And you target that ship. Now, no. Ay, ay, ay. That one. You. 
that one, you, that one. No. This is pissing me off. Click, 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 click. There. Are you guys all targeting different stuff now? Yes, you are. Thank you so very much. Thank you, York. You're probably fine. I believe in you. Holy, we're taking a lot of damage. Okay, maybe, maybe actually, uh. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, detach you as well, since you're not doing too well. You're gonna have these guys continue at speed. Why are you targeting that ship? Yeah, if we would just target the ships I told you guys to target, maybe you would actually uh, be able to hit something. Oh, we actually sank something. Let's go. Bulwark. You're gonna continue. Prince of Wales. Uh, get away from Bulwark. That's another ship down. I'm surprised we actually killed so many ships. And that our ships are still alive. The Duke of York is just about to go down though. Let's say maybe if she starts going straight, she might be able to survive by going just fast enough. You have a hundred percent chance to hit that ship in front of you, that's actually perfect. So then we have that should clear up that flank. These two have taken no damage, so you need to target, I think, that one. Or no, 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 you have main tower damage. No, you don't have main tower damage. Okay, you start going that way. You guys start turning this way. Your job is now to target these. The these. Come on. Open fire, open fire, open fire. Are we not firing? I think yours gone. Can we not shoot this ship, please? Okay, maybe... Um... Can we even shoot the ship? It might be too fast for us. Okay, that's... that's I, I don't even have the turning speed to deal with that. Okay, but we do have 10-inch guns. Shoot her. How did you miss? Okay, never mind. I guess we're gonna miss. That's that's also fine, I guess. Can we pause? I wanna detach these ships. You're gonna go this way. You're gonna go this way. And you are gonna continue this way and kill this thing. We might be losing all of our ships here. I'm not gonna lie. I'm proud that we sank two of their ships, but uh, yeah, 33 knots is very hard to deal with. Can I target both of these? I wish I could. Alright, which way are my guns pointing right now? That way, okay. Keep firing at that then. And you just start going in circles. Because you're not looking too good at this point. Look at this. Ooh, good hit, good hit. That's a really good hit. Okay, come on, fire again. Fire again. Come on, fire again. Or not, are you, can you please? Bulwark is still alive. Audacious is still alive. Good hit, these are good hits. These are actually good hits. Okay, you're dead. Bulwark's just about to die. The Doria is not looking too good. I want you to target. You are. You're not targeting the right ship. Why? Did somebody get close? Why are we. I mean. Oh, I feel like this is so close. Are you nearly dead? Like, you're not even touched. Oh, that's not good. 100% chance to. Come on, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, please. Angle, are you kidding me? We have angle issues. No, 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 no. Oh, she's so close. I, I, I can't. I, I'm. It, it's over. I can't. I can't stop it. You target the ship since I can't have that ship kill it. No oh, angle issues. No. Oh, that's so sad. I lost every single ship. Oh. Well, that's. Actually, negative points, if I think, because I lost, um, well, I have 10%, I lost 10 points, and I only did, uh, let's see, I didn't really check. I can check here. Can I check here? I didn't look at the ships, but I'm, I think it was like, 
It's like around 50, 50 percent, and then that one wasn't even touched. So I sank two, and they're both 20,000 tons, and I did an additional, like between these two, is like an additional one of that. So let's see. What is the per? So I think two points per. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I got negative four points. Great. Well, with a good chip design, Yulari, I got obliterated. I probably should have seen that coming, but anyways, it was pretty fun. And we did surprisingly well. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna be all. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next week of Shipyard Champions. Don't forget to go check out everyone else's videos, especially Polyworlds. He is taking on my heavy cruiser flotata. Flotata? Flotilla. There we go. Yes, so go check him out and go check out Yulari. Maybe he'll show his design of a ship. Um, I would show you my heavy cruisers, but they were deleted because I both updated and then went to the Dreadnought Improvement Project, so they don't really exist anymore, but whatever. Alright, see you guys later. Bye!